man. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. This was a weekend to remember. A weekend that was amazing and a great three-day, oh, man, for the 10th anniversary for Comic-Con. Got a lot of stuff to get through. Let's do it. Nico Yard. Bitch, I'm a bull. Bitch, I'm a bull. I'm in no bull. I'm in no bull. What's in my cup? What's in my cup? Pull yeah. of that punch. Look at that punch. Bitch, I'm a bull. Ballin' like Kobe. Ho, keep it moving, cause you do not know me. Bitch, I'm a bull. Ballin' like Kobe. Ho, keep it moving, cause you do not know me. Bitch, I'm a bull. I can't talk in Milwaukee. Tell my dog sick of me. I do no parking. Catch me some greens. You know I'ma spark it. Mama got ass. Told her to arch it. Pull up at the spot. Hop out and don't park it. Be no say. Always keep one in the cartridge. With Joey, your paper, so we Going toxic, came from the swamp to visit the choppers. Check out the scenery. Tell them I went to the backwoods right by the lake. And I had some weed on me. Had to retire my cup, but it still doubled up. So pour out some lean for me. We, we took an edible, feeling incredible. Fed our way into the sheets. Hustle and flow is unique. Easy to What is up, Ghoulie Nation? Mal Ghoulie here bringing you guys all this, the, the stuff that I have purchased. Through, at the 10th anniversary of the Indiana or Comic Con, as they say, or better yet, the Indianapolis Comic Con. Um, Y'all, it was an incredible weekend. I cannot stress enough how much fun me, uh, me, uh, my girlfriend, and our friends um, had so much fun. We we went Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We went all three days. We bought a whole bunch of stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show a uh, majority of all the stuff that I bought. Um, I'm probably going to post some pictures of, um, of Taylor, who um, took a picture of Steve, Steve Burns, a.k.a. Steve from Blue's Clues. And also, she took a picture with, um, I think his name is Shamik, Shamik Moore, who uh, voices uh, Miles Morales in the across the Spider-Verse um, movies, the Spider-Man, Miles Morales movies. So there was a lot, to, there's a lot to get through y'all. There's a lot to get through. Let, let's just start it off here. Y'all know I am a retro gamer through and through. I told you guys, I keep all my systems. I do not sell my systems. I don't, you know, no. I, I'm not one of those guys like, oh, it's a new system. Get rid of the old one. Give it the new no i i am a collector y'all know this y'all know me so well to the point i don't even give off any of my stuff so i have my playstation one still my n64 place uh, ps2 um psp game boy color game boy advance game boy advance sp um i have a ps4 and i have a ps5 you know etc cetera, etc cetera. and i bought two um video games um i'm gonna try when I get to you know my new place, when me and my lady get our new place and whatnot, um, that we are, you know, I, I told her that I wanted to start a video game reviewing and also playthrough and walkthroughs um, channel, and you know that's something that's in the works that um, I wanted to do for a very very long time. Um, besides of this channel, just doing no nothing but just Chicago. Uh, just sports and wrestling, but you know, I also love video games, and you guys know that too. You guys have seen me live uh, streamed um, Fire Pro Wrestling World. You guys have seen me um, do a lot for that. So I wanted to do another channel, just completely just video games. I just review video games and just you know go from there. Um, the the <laughs> I bought uh, Spawn. Hopefully, um, you guys can see this. Uh, Spawn Armageddon for the PlayStation 2. Oh my god, that backlight is terrible. Um, I remember playing this um, when I was, what, like, ooh, like when I was eight? Borrowed it from a friend, liked it then. Have, it's been years since I played it. And um, you guys got to excuse my finger because also I got, I, cut, I got cut at work um, machinery. So, um, you know, um, 
borrowed this game from a friend. Um, I liked it when I first played it, but it's been years since I played it. I'm I like Spawn. My girlfriend is a big, huge Spawn fan. She has a Spawn tattoo on her calf. She is a big, big Spawn fan, and um, she was shocked that they made a Spawn video game for the PS2. And I told her um, that probably when I get the you know when we get the gaming channel, I will have her. Me and her will basically tag team and play this game. But yeah, Spawn um, Armageddon. Um, I can't wait to play this on my PS2, and I would love to um, do a review and do a walkthrough with you guys. So other than that, there is that. And also, I've been trying to get into some games that I didn't play as a child, that I didn't get the chance to, um, either because I didn't think the games would be um, either good or the fact of that they, you know, just didn't interest me. But then over the years, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I should give them a chance, you know. <laughs> I'm 30 years old now, and you know, I might as well give them a chance. Better late than never. And this would be Jack 2. I do have Jack 1. I have Jack 1. And um, I have been uh, on YouTube. Um, I can't think, I think it's, I can't think of his, uh, the YouTube channel's name, but they made movies out of uh, the Jack and Dexter films and Jack and Dexter games. I apologize. And, you know, they, they seem interesting. The Jack. Uh, in Daxter series, they, they seem interesting. And, you know, I never got to play those. I wanted to play Jack 1 and 2 as a kid, and I know there's a third one. And I'm going to try to go to my local uh, video game store, this replay, and try to get Jack and Dax 3, hopefully at a reasonable price. So, um, yeah, Jack and Dax um, 2, I bought this. I bought this for about a good, what, 25 uh, bucks, and it's in new, condi new condition. Um I think I got these from the convention of gamers, uh, gamersworld.net. Um, and you know what? They are, uh, they also said they would uh, hook me up with a PSP battery because I need a PSP battery because mine exploded. So I had to get a new PSP battery and a new PSP save file. So other than that, but um, yeah, Jack 2. I heard so many um, people say that this game, a lot of people like this game, but they also said this was one of the hardest games that they've ever played and you know annoying me um i love a worthy challenge so i will look, can't wait to play jack uh jack one jack two and hopefully i can find jack three which i probably will somewhere down the line so there's the video games love to take that here also i bought some bookmarks <laughs> i bought some bookmarks y'all i bought some book bookmarks um because i read comics i have a whole bunch of comic books in my disposal I have a whole bunch of comic books in my disposal and I can't wait to show you guys all the bookmarks. So give me a second here. You know, I'm a big, huge comic book fan. I'm a big comic book nerd. I have a whole bunch of spider man I have a whole bunch of Batman. I have a whole bunch of so many comics. And, you know, it's really hard. Uh, I didn't really have any bookmarks. I would use my old Boston Market um, coupon, uh, little coup red coupon cards and all of that just to uh, see where I'm at. Uh, I had, a, I had a Sonic the Hedgehog type of um, little miniature poster, something like this, and I will show what this is later on. Um, stuff like that, and it was it was just so unbelievable to me. It was just, I'm like, man, I gotta get myself some bookmarks. And lo and behold, I found some bookmarks. I believe um, a lot of these uh, creators that I got from uh, all in the description down below. So bear with me with that, um, and make sure to check them out too. And you can tell them that Mount Gooley sent you or, you know, help them out. Hey, you guys help me out. Help them out. Help me to help you all to help them. So, yeah, I bought um, five of these and I'm going to show them all to you. Um, <laughs> there's this one um, with all the, man, let me, let me, let me take it out the plastic. Let me see, because I hate that light. Um, yeah, I bought a Spider-Man, um, all three of them. So you got Andrew, Toby, and Tom Holland. Um, Y'all know I'm a big, huge Spider-Man fan. And speaking of which, not only I got the um, the bookmark for this, I also picked up, and I'm definitely going to have to take this out the plastic because Jesus Christ. I um, also bought the poster as well. This guy created um, all of this. See, look at that, how it changes, see how cool that is. Look at Tom Holland and <laughs> Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield and yeah, this, this was really, really cool. Loved it. I'm a big fan of this. Can't wait to post this in my uh, new um, residential living. Trust me, all of these are going to stay in their plastics 
well, going back, well, staying in their plastics until me and my lady find a a reasonable, suitable home. So um, there is that. Also, the other one that I bought, um, as you all know, I am a huge, I love Batman. Batman is one of my favorite. Between him and Spider-Man, I, I, I prefer, it's a tie. <laughs> Can't pick between the boat, between two, so it's a tie. But um, let's see if this one's a little bit better out in the light. This one's the Batman um, one. Loved it. Loved how it looks. Um, like, I love how it looks. Really do. I love the Dark Knight. Who doesn't love the Dark Knight? I mean, come on. It's, it's freaking Batman. Like, <laughs> let's be real with ourselves. It's the Dark Knight. Something in the way. Come on now. Come on now. Also, I'm a big fan of Pokemon. Yes. Make fun of me in the comments. I am a Pokemon nerd, okay? I started playing Pokemon Gold. Then I played um, Gen... I started in Gen 2. I played Gen 1. I played Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. I think I stopped at 6. I, I forgot how many Gen... There's so many different kinds of Pokemon. It's not even funny. But uh, my favorite Pokemon, two of them, Pikachu, obviously, the mascot, and my favorite, favorite favorite of the, of the bunch, none other than Snorlax. Here's how this looks. Let me uh, see here. Has here 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 is how it looks. You got some of the Pikachu clones. You got Snorlax down there. You got Magikarp. I believe that's Eevee down there. And um, yeah, Eevee. So the Master Ball, Magikarp. Yeah, loved it. Freaking love it. Um, got two more bookmarks. Also, um, let y'all know right off the bat. I also am a big ninja turtle fan and trust me there's going to be some ninja turtle stuff in here and there's going to be some horror in here too that's the reason why i'm wearing my spangoli t-shirt um <laughs> i'm a big fan of the ninja turtles and obviously i had to get a teenage Mutant ninja turtles uh bookmark y'all come on really really great and then the last one i'm a big power ranger fan too i love the power ranger i grew up um watching batman spider-man the ninja turtles pokemon and the power uh and the teenage ninja turtles and look at the power rangers the mighty Morphin power rangers which i still believe is the best series out of them all you can't prove me you can't you can't um you can't deny it this is one of my favorites favorite series favorite characters out of the series so yeah so yeah i don't have to worry every time when i read a comic book now i don't have to worry about um don't have to worry about where i'm losing at or when i'm ready to go to sleep or ready to um go somewhere with my uh friends and whatnot <laughs> and when i come back home i can find i finally have uh some bookmarks that i'm struggling to put them back in the plastic okay um but yeah loved it guys um but, I think I gotta ask my um girlfriend. I think she has the card to this guy. He subscribed to my YouTube channel. So um if I can find it down here, I think it's I think it's um yep, there it is. Um Raylan Gra Raylan Graphics. That's where I believe. Yeah, Raylan Graphics. That's where um I got to that booth. Awesome. All right, so I hope you guys are ready for more. You guys are ready for more? Um, I, I guess uh, let's get to the uh, to the knit. I did buy two comic books. Uh, actually, not even comics. I actually bought two mangas. Actually, there's a a uh, Spider Man manga called Spider Man Fake Red, um, story by um, you say Oswana. I'm probably gonna butcher that name, but this is what it looks like. I love how um, they use the video game suit. Um, and you got Venom in the background, Scorpions in the background, and I believe, oh my God, it, it does look like the photobomb chick, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to read this. Really can't wait to read this, guys. Um, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, and the fact that this was also published by Viz Media, the same Viz that would show Naruto Shippuden and a whole bunch of other animes too. Oh yeah, and also I'm a big Dragon Ball fan. I had to. I bought volume one of the Dragon Ball uh, manga. I remember reading this in elementary school, and then they also came, and also uh, they also came in at um, 
in high school too. And I always wanted to get one of these, but you know what? Hey, it was worth it. Rest in peace to the creator of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is my favorite anime of all time. <laughs> so yeah, those were the two books that I bought. And now let's get to this to the nitty gritty. Um, let's start with what um what uh Shariq Moore. Um Taylor bought me on my birthday um this year was a venomized Miles Morales bobblehead of uh, pop of uh, what they call those uh bagel pops. And when I told her that um Meek Moore was coming to Indianapolis Comic Con, she flipped. So I, you know, she wanted to take a picture with him. And she got the combo. So um yeah, um, yeah, you got, yeah, I got to put this in a better light, better showing. Yep, he he signed it. He signed it, and he didn't know that they made um, a, a venomized Miles Morales. He liked it. Um, Taylor, oh my God, Taylor, um, my girlfriend's amazing. She got um, the autograph from it. It's still my gift, but I told her, hey, why don't you let him sign it and keep it moving from there? And she took a picture with him. She also cosplayed as Raven, so I will be uploading pictures about that as well and a video as well of her doing her Raven makeup. Also, since we are in here as well, let me get you, what else did I get? Um, I Like I said, big Power Ranger fan. I bought Saba. <laughs> um, Next year in Comic-Con, I will be dressing up like the white Power Ranger. Um, I just need the pants. I got the hoodie. And now I got Saba, too. So <laughs> it's going to be really, really, really good. Just need to get find the Power Ranger pants that can fit me. I am a pretty big guy. I am losing weight. So that's another good thing, too. Maybe I went down a size. Who knows? Got to keep on grinding. Get this weight off of me, y'all. Trust me. So yeah, I got Saba, and I also am going to, if you guys are a um, Power Ranger fanatic too, I also got, bought um, a pocket knife, a, a, a pocket knife, a white Power Ranger pocket knife. Sorry, the silver is going to reflect on the light, so I'm not going to show it. I've been using it at work for the last two days, um, so it really, really helps, and it's really, really sharp. That's for damn sure. Also, next year... I also bought a Nerf gun. <laughs> Good Lord, I bought a Nerf gun. Uh, I said also next year, if you are a PlayStation 1 retro gamer, I am going to cosplay next year as Captain Blasto because, you know, I want to be uh, not only just original, but also bring some of the classics back. So, yeah, and yes, this thing is loaded with, a ner with Nerf balls in. Don't believe me. <laughs> now I gotta go find that thing, but yeah, uh, it's a Nerf gun, and um, it'll help with my cosplay for next year. That's for sure. So, yep, yeah, um, let's put that to the side here, and we gotta find that ball and find that ball later. Also, uh, my sister Christian who I've also um, got her link in the, in the description about her artwork as well. Please make sure that you follow her on Instagram. Remember I told you guys in, earlier that Steve uh, Steve Burns was gonna be here? Was gonna be here in Indianapolis, Indiana? He was. Taylor took a picture of him. I got an autograph from my sister and... <laughs> oh wait, let me take this off. Take it off, take it off. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Steve Burns, what a phenomenal human being. He was so nice. He was sweet and got an autograph from my sister. Taylor took a picture with him. Can't wait to upload that as well. Thank you, Steve, for coming back. And also, thank you for um, that you never for that you never forgot us. Ever. You never forgot us. So now. We got that up the way. Let's get to the posters. Holy crap. There is a lot of posters. I bought a lot of artwork, folks. Let's start off with this one, number one. And this was the last one that they had. If you don't know, <laughs> they got the Ninja Turtles 
dressed up like Jedi and Sith. More like the Sith. You got Mikey, Raph, Leo, and Donatello as Jedis, and obviously Raph, Sith because of size. You got Mikey with his lightsaber nunchucks. Obviously, you got Leo with his dual lightsabers. Um, Donnie with his double dual lightsabers. And then you got Raphael side lightsabers. This was so freaking awesome. This guy was so freaking awesome. His name was uh, Bowie. Bowie. And, oh, man, I bought a lot of stuff from Bowie. Bowie was the MVP. Y'all, I'm also, <laughs> got to say, got to put, got to, the king of pop. Come on, smooth criminal. Michael Jackson. Come on, man. Gary Indiana's own Michael Jackson. Y'all know. Y'all already know. And I love and I'm and I love Michael Jackson. My sister um went, not the not the one that got the autograph, but my actual blood sister. She um went and my cousin, they went to Mike Michael Jackson's funeral. And um I they they went and they still got the program. I gotta figure out where did they um get this. I mean, where did they not get this? Where did they um they kept it so I can show you guys too because it was they said the funeral was amazing and they actually showed uh, his funeral on TV if I'm not mistaken also I'm a big martial arts fan and you know I love Bruce Lee love me some Bruce Lee Bowie did a fantastic job with, with this and mm, I love Bruce Lee my favorite Bruce Lee movie is Enter the Dragon second favorite movie is um, the one with him uh, destroying Chuck Norris I think that was Way of the Dragon. So Bruce Lee. Also, like I said, I'm a big, huge fan of Batman. So I got the Gotham Sirens as well, made by the same creator. Bowie still made, made by the same creator. Um, he didn't have a car, but I do know he had a website. So I don't know if it was saved on my phone, but if it is, I will let y'all know. You got Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn, the Gotham Sirens. That also, the sons of Batman, in other words, Batman's protégés, and also um, all his protégés. So we got Batman in the middle, Nightwing, we got, um, we got Robin, we got the Red Hood, and we got, and we got Terry, Batman Beyond. So yeah, I love this. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait, y'all. I, I love this freaking picture. Love it. Love it. Get, close it up a little bit. Really, really great. And then the last one from Bowie was, um, as y'all know, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, this is so because of the silver. Um, Ninja Turtles, you got Rap, Rap, Donnie, Mikey, and Leo. Love it. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys can see it. So there is that from Bowie. Also, um, let's keep it going here. I got some more artwork for you guys. Um, got some more artwork for you guys. Got some more artwork. And I'm gonna say it right now, I am a huge Spengoolie fan. A huge Spengoolie fan. Spengoolie was my childhood. If you lived in Gary, Indiana, or in the Chicago area, you know what I'm talking about. I'm so proud of the fact that he is worldwide now. I I love the fact that Spin is being Spin. I love it, freaking freaking love it. So this section here is going to be in the horror section. So speaking of the horror section, I bought some Legos. I bought an Elvira, an Elvira Mistress of the Dark Lego. And an amazing detail. Also, I'm a big Chucky fan. I cannot wait for part two of season three. Can't wait. I also bought a Chucky um, Lego uh, piece. And he has his own little sword, which is really cool. I love it. Not a big Lego guy, but hey, I had to. They, these were cheap. And also, for all my South Park fans, <clears throat> you respect my authority. I bought... This, I bought a, a Cartman, a police Cartman. And the funny thing is, he was only $3. This was literally the cheapest thing at Comic Con. So, yes, um, you're respecting my authority. And also, it was also three bucks because they, for, they, they, um, they, they forgot to get him his club. So, hey, $3 off. 
And you know what? Actually, no, no, it was $3 overall. So shoot, I'm cool with it. So for all my South Park fans, there's that. Also, um, before I get more to the post poster work here, like I said, I got some more guys. And I even got an autograph too. So give me a second. I bought two very rare limited editions. Um, for the right price of 50 bucks, these were not bad. I bought a limited edition um Elvira Mistress of the Dark the red dress which basically if you um as you know I love Elvira Mistress of the Dark when you look at the back here um this is the red right red fright and boo but if you look it up on Google or her actual website Elvira elvira.com or elvira mistress of the dark.com this was also at the time when you know she was posing for the American flag. I think it was a 4th of July set. And she had on the red dress and, you know, she had America at the background, the United States of America flag, the USA flag in the back. And this was really rare. For 50 bucks, this was really, really rare. Both of these were rare. But then as soon as um me uh, on Sunday, though, funny story, they had the Christmas Elvira one. But they wanted 60 and I didn't have that much money I was trying to save. I'm already trying to pay as much as I can possible. So I'm trying to save as much as possible. But I, I wish I could. I think I can go on Amazon and get the Christmas uh, edition much more cheaper if I do. Yes. And if it's higher on Amazon, damn it, I should have bought it. Um, but here is the original um, with the black dress. Comes with the... Um, Obviously, the supply, the head, the knife, the dagger, 40 years of Elvira. I am a big Elvira fan. If you were to ask me uh, who is better, Spenguli or Elvira, to me, Spenguli, but because I grew up with him. But Elvira is, is, is iconic. Come on now, it's Elvira. Speaking of more Elvira, I got more Elvira stuff to show you. This was chalk art, and this was a limited edition. So this was an Elvira uh, chart. This was made by Chalk Girl, and they did a fun, fantastic job. This was all made in chalk. So amazing, amazing detail. Amazing. I love Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I wish they had a Spangoolie one. I would definitely buy it. Bought it. Also, Venom. Y'all know I love that Venom, 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 that Venom, Venom, Venom. So I bought a Venom one as well. Same um, artist, um, Chalk Girl. Also, um, Sonic. I bought a Sonic one as well. And this was also uh, an amazing detail as well. Really, really great. Really, really great. Like I said, I will bring all of these in the description below. And please also support their work, guys. Because they these guys did a phenomenal job. I got some more posters to show you, and then we can get to the nitty gritty. Like I said, I got bought a also a Power Rangers um, poster, which every single Power Ranger that there is. I hope it shows everything is better how I'm showing it here, but yeah. Um, big old Power Ranger nerd. And tell me otherwise, I'm not a Power Ranger. Man. Also, uh, Dragon Ball Z as well. I bought this one too from the Android Sales Saga. Kind of wish, look at this. Let me see this a little bit better so you guys can see it. From Dragon Ball Z, the Android and Sales Saga. Really, really great poster. Really, really great. Loved it. Love Dragon Ball Z. Favorite arc. They didn't have the Frieza arc, which is one of my favorites, but but my favorite favorite out of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, come on, Gohan turning into Super Saiyan 2. Him and Cell. Come on. Oh, let me see. Okay, now let's get to the main. Yeah, I think this is almost okay. Yep. Now let's get to the main event. As y'all know, I'm a big huge Power Ranger uh, fan. I have met Tommy. I have met Rocky. I've met Jason. I've met Billy. I've met Adam, but I haven't got Adam's autograph yet. He's supposed to be here next month, but I won't 
be able to make next month's PopCon event. So instead, the beautiful and lovely Karen Ashley, a.k.a. Aisha from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, got an autograph from her. Sweetest human being. I will up. Uh, I will upload. I took pictures with her, with my Tommy hoodie. Beautiful, amazing human being. Lover. Um, and she also has a YouTube channel as well. And oh man, now I'm just missing is Amy Jo Johnson, and I'm missing Ichigo, aka Adam. And yes, Adam, the the, um, the Black Power Ranger who um, who took over for Zach. He will be, um, he was uh, the Black Power Ranger after when Zach left. And he also voiced Ichigo for all you Bleach fans out there. He'll be here at PopCon as well. So let me put this up. I don't want to mess this up. And now, um, also in Atlanta, Georgia. So if Jamar Games, if you are watching live, um, they have a, power uh a ranger stop they have a power ranger convention here in atlanta there's this one's a free this one's a free ticket but i won't be able to make it in atlanta georgia so um i mean if you live in the atlanta area i could send this to you um they were giving them out in the power ranger convention center um to promote it they they ha normally have it in orlando Mostly in Florida, they're trying to uh, expand to Atlanta. Hopefully, they can have one here. Because oh my God, I will definitely go to a Power Ranger convention. Convention, I I would definitely go. Now to the one of the big grits. There was also a lot of wrestling merchandise there, and this will be the main event here. Literally, I bought a lot of figures. My lady bought Macho Man. I bought a Stephanie McMahon figure. I bought a Stephanie McMahon figure, uh, her SummerSlam attire, when she took on um, Brie Bella. It's Steph for business, Steph, Steph, Steph. So yeah, my girlfriend bought Macho Man. It was the only Macho Man that they had. She bought it for her dad, because her dad is a big huge wrestling collect collector. And you know, because of him, he got me back into a uh, wrestling collection too. Also, there was a Jeff Hardy Elite um figurine let me show show a little hit here also there is a wrestling convention coming next week unfortunately i won't be able to make that because of comic-con so um jeff hardy here love jeff hardy got more folks got about like maybe yeah three more rest in peace rest in peace bray wyatt I had to Bray Wyatt. I bought it. Mr. Rogers neighborhood Bray Wyatt, but Bray Wyatt nonetheless. Love it. Rest in peace, Bray. So let's look at it here. Who is next? Trish Stratus. Stratisfaction. Classic Tr Trish Stratus, too. I think. If memory serves me, was this was this WrestleMania 18 or was this? I'm not too sure. I don't remember. I really don't remember. But yeah, this is Trish Stratus, this Trish Stratus figure, and it doesn't say on the back. And this is well, they said this is Attitude Era. So wait a minute, let me see. No, no it doesn't really say which Trish this came from. But on the left, I got Trish Stratus, and the last one. And this one was really rare. And it was the last one. Bask in his glory. Keith Lee, please come home. I would love for Keith Lee to come home. Keith Lee, please come back to WWE. <laughs> please come back to WWE. I mean, AEW's cool and all, but yeah, um, I got a lot to say when it comes to Keith Lee. Um, his AEW run. I mean, I, I don't hate it, but I'm kind of mad at not doing much with him and here we go and i bought some wrestling posters as well so and this will be it right here i bought the undertaker the undertaker yeah how it began american badass undertaker the phenom 
to what he is now. Also, I bought majority all legends. I was was gonna get a Mick Foley one, but he ran out. But the guy who made uh these ran out of Mick Foley. So here's Sting, the Stinger, Surfer Sting, Crow Sting, and I'm gonna call the last one just the the, the icon at this point, the icon Sting. And also, we got Matt and Jeff, the Hardys. The next time that there's a wrestling convention, I hope and pray to God that they come next year. I will try my best to have them sign this. Matt and Jeff, the Hardys. He also threw in um, a, 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 another one, but this is one I also got, a Lita one. So, yes, I got Lita. I got me Lita. And then he also was so nice that he also threw in this one for free. And this was a Jay Cargill one. And Jay Cargill will be making her debut at um, Friday night, this Friday Night SmackDown. So can't wait to see that. So that is everything that I have bought at Comic-Con. Bought a whole bunch of stuff, as you can tell. But it was worth it. You know, it felt, I felt like me and my lady both felt like little kids again. But now... Reality sits in because now we got to, you know, got to adult. And yes, adulting sucks, people. It really, really does. But at the same time, I know everything, it's worth it. It's worth everything, worth every penny. And I love each and every one of it. So also, before I go, WrestleMania. I will be doing WrestleMania. I will be doing NXT. I will be doing that WrestleMania weekend. and. Next week is the annual third annual pick of mania, pick of mania. And what I want to do this year, I want to let the all the subscribers be a part of pick of mania and their own little pick of mania. Um, I'm gonna talk to all the rest of the guys. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> me and Dove talked about doing promos for pick of mania. We'd love to see uh, you guys um, do promos on pick of mania. For the chat, the chat will have its own pick of mania. The, the Ghoulie Nation will have its own pick of mania. And we will go from there. I will explain next week on how it will go. Um, but if you guys want to uh, be a part of it and involved in it, just let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, I will try to get all the cards that I had with all the artists. I will put them all on the um, that I had to get all on the um, description down below. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. On this channel, I love to do nothing but wrestling. I love the um, I love uh, the Chicago Bears. I will be doing the NFL draft in April, so be prepared for that. Um, the NBA, uh, I haven't really done NBA as much, the NBA season much this year, but I'll probably do like not a play by play, but I will probably get a review on the Chicago Bulls. And let me tell you, I'm a little bit pedo. By the time of this recording comes out, I am a little PO'd that they lost to the Wizards. But this is the Chicago Bulls. We all know how this goes. Baseball is starting soon. I will try to do my best to do Chicago Cubs games. Um, NHL season is winding down. Hopefully, the Blackhawks with 47 million in cap. Please do something. Build around Connor. So, um, yeah, that will be it. And I think it is about that time. Let's uh, get to the TikToking. Yo, you about done? TikTok, motherfucker. What? <coughs> Whoa, Gooley. I think we've all had enough of you for this week. Start wrapping it up, will ya? Painful last word the killer said. Idiot. Yes, I am. <coughs> Whoa, you've been flapping your gums enough to create a tsunami. Bring this program to an end already. And with that being said, I love each and every one of you. It's time for me to go. The time has come for me to go. I had so much fun entertaining you guys. Send till the next time. There'll be the next live stream or be the next video. I will see you when I see you. I love each and every one of you. You guys have a wonderful uh, night, wonderful day, wonderful night. Whenever the time you watch this video, love each and every one of you, Ghoulie Nation. Peace out. Love peace and soul. I'm out of here.